In this video, let's talk about orientation tolerances in SOLIDWORKS. Here we have a drawing with a few orientation tolerances. We notice right here we have a perpendicularity to three thousandths in reference to datum A and B. Up here we have a perpendicularity with zero tolerance at MMC with reference to A. There's two ways you can apply any orientation tolerance to a surface or to a feature of size. And we have both examples right here. So I'm going to go through and show you how you would apply this perpendicularity to a surface feature, in this case, datum C. We come up to geometric tolerance. We go to symbol, perpendicularity. We punch in whatever we want the numerical tolerance to be, in this case, 3 thou. We come over here to primary datum. With the keyboard, we enter A. We move over to secondary. With the keyboard, we punch B and press OK. At this point, we drag it over and we can drop it right on that extension line. And we have exactly what we need. For the next kind, applying to a feature of size, we want it to stick to the dimension, the feature of size. Okay, so what we do, geometric tolerance, symbol, perpendicularity, we punch in numerical tolerance. In this case, we want it to apply at MMC. So when we're in this tolerance one block, we're going to select MMC. If you notice, it shows up right here. If you're applying this orientation tolerance to a cylinder, you might you would hit this, make it a diameter. In this case, we're applying it to a width, so we do not want the diameter. So I'm going to come over to primary datum, punch A, and that's all we're going to need for this tolerance. So show you how we apply it. We drop it right on that size. In this case, we can move it around. We could do a couple things. We could attach the datum feature symbol right to it. It would mean the same thing in the end. So SOLIDWORKS is pretty smart. As we move this around, we can uh, achieve a couple things.